A few years ago, I made a video talking about what I would be like as a gym leader in the Pokémon world. The basic premise of the video was that I was chosen to become one of a region's eight gym leaders, and in the video itself, I went over what my gym design would be, what Pokémon I would use to battle challengers, and even talked a little bit about what my gym's overall theme and style would be like, too. Since making that video, I've had a lot of time to think about improvements and changes I'd make to that old gym idea. And after processing and organizing my thoughts for over three years now, I think I'm finally ready to revisit the idea of what I'd be like as a Pokemon gym leader and give it a bit of an update for the modern era. In today's video, I'm going to be redoing my original video on the topic and will be sharing my improved ideas for what I personally would be like as a gym leader in the Pokemon universe. I'll be going over what Pokemon I would use against those challenging my gym, my gym's overall theme and design, what my gym badge would look like, what TM I would give out to trainers who defeat me, and a couple other gym-related things that tie into my overall idea. If I'm being honest, my updated gym isn't drastically different from the first one I made, in the sense that the overall premise and type I focus on are the same. But even if you have seen my original video on this topic, I still think this remake will give you guys a better and improved look at what I would be like as a Pokemon gym leader. Alright, let's jump right into my gym idea now. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are expecting my gym to be 50s themed and revolve around Team Buddy, right? Well, I didn't actually go in that direction. While I love Team Buddy and all its full-on pompadour, overly happy, and bayhive goodness, when I thought of what I wanted to do as the gym leader, I found myself thinking about ideas similar to what I had in my first video, which was centered around water. Now for those who might not know, I love water. Whether we're talking about rain, ponds, lakes, streams, the ocean, if a lot of water is involved, I'm naturally drawn to it. I'm not really sure why I like water so much, but due to my water-inclined nature, I felt like it was only natural for me to be a water-type gym leader, and for my gym to also have a heavy water aesthetic to it as well. I brainstormed a lot of ideas for what my new and improved water gym could be like, ranging from a scuba diving gym where the entirety of it would be set underwater and you'd have to dive through a maze to reach me, to a gym themed around a desert oasis, but in the end I decided to go back and reimagine the idea I had in my original video which was a large indoor water park. So this probably comes at no surprise, but water parks are one of my favorite things ever in real life, and I feel like my gym within the Pokemon world would be set within a gigantic indoor water park that many trainers and their Pokemon visit to swim and relax at. The focal point of my gym would be a massive tower in the middle of the building which would have a lot of slides, walkways, and those mounted water guns that so many water parks have, and at the top of the tower is where I, the gym leader in this scenario, would be waiting for challengers to approach me to try and earn my gym badge. Now right when you arrive at my gym, you can immediately start scaling the tower to try and reach me, which I'll go over in a second about how that all works and what my gym's puzzle would be. But before I do, I wanted to make it clear that there is more to my gym than just battling me and scaling the water slide tower. Aside from climbing the tower I'm waiting on, you can also explore the ground level of my water park gym and find all sorts of characters and Pokémon to interact with. Some are tanning, others are hanging out in smaller pools and a hot tub, there's a small tiki bar type area where some people are hanging out at and you can buy items like lemonade or soda pop, there's a water type Pokemon specific pool area, and a few characters are even going down some of these smaller water slides in the building too. Basically, what I'm trying to convey here is that my gym would be one half actual Pokemon gym where you have to battle trainers and myself to earn a gym badge, and one half fully functioning water park where you can interact with many NPCs and their Pokemon that are relaxing and taking advantage of my gym's many amenities. Alright, when you've had enough of exploring the numerous side areas of my gym, you can start to make your way up the large tower to try and battle me. This is where the puzzle of my gym comes into play, and the core premise of the idea is that when you're trying to scale the tower, you'll be blocked by three different gates. To open the gates, you have to do a small mini-game where you use one of those mounted water cannons I mentioned earlier to try and hit various switches and targets that are spread out across the gym. If you hit the right switch, then BAM! One of those gates opens and you move on to the next locked gate and shooter type section. But, if you don't hit the right switch in time, or if you accidentally hit an innocent bystander, then you'll be forced to battle one of my gym's grunts. Or, in the case of when you accidentally spray someone on the ground far below with water, you'll have to battle a very angry trainer who is just trying to unwind at the pool. 
Once you've mastered the art of the water gun and have unlocked all three gates, you'll reach the top of the water park tower where I've been waiting for you. I'm sitting atop a tall lifeguard chair, which fits pretty well because I'm rocking a lifeguard-inspired design, and as the lifeguard gym leader of this water park, I accept your challenge for my gym badge, and this begins our Pokémon battle. Now I imagine myself being the third or maybe the fourth gym leader you would battle in a region, and because of this my Pokemon wouldn't be at crazy high levels. I would use three Pokemon on my team. A level 20 Squirtle, a level 21 Tortuga, and a level 23 Wartortle, which would be my signature Pokemon as a gym leader. We have our showdown, which of course ends in my inevitable defeat, and once you've beaten me I give you my gym badge, which looks like a life preserver and is called the Buoyant Badge. I also give you the TM for Water Pulse, which is meant to be a reference to the water cannon shooting section of my gym. With both my badge and a new TM in your possession, you can now take the slide behind me to get back to the ground level of my gym and make quite a splash with everybody hanging out in the pool below that just watched our intense battle. And that's my idea for what I'd be like as a Pokemon Gym Leader. As I said at the start, it's not drastically different from what I made originally, but I did try to change, fix, and update a lot of things to work a little better together, and I think this updated video truly captures what I'd want to be like were I ever a Pokemon Gym Leader. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you like my gym idea? Maybe you think I'm too easy to beat, even as a low-level gym leader. Feel free to let me know what you guys think of my gym idea in the comments section below. Also, because I love hearing people's ideas on this kind of stuff, let me know what you yourself would be like as a gym leader too. I don't want to bog people down with too many rules, but if you leave a comment with your idea, try to at least include your type specialty, your Pokemon team, and a rough idea of what your gym's layout would be too. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.